North Texas School District tonight acknowledging that they're under federal investigation. Parents plan to speak out against Allen ISD tomorrow, but as Aaron Jones will show you now tonight, one family is already sharing their experience. One, two, three. What number is this? Shit. So Nicholas had just turned five and he was born with a condition called TAR syndrome. For Nicholas, he's actually missing all of his arm bones and his knee joint as well. Nicholas's mother, Christina Cabral, says to walk. He needs a lot of support when he gets around because he's unsteady. When he does fall, his risk of brain hemorrhaging um, and internal bleeding is really high because with yeah. his low platelets, he, his blood doesn't clot. Cabral says since this constantly puts her son at risk, when she enrolled him in Allen ISD, she made sure to detail all his special needs. Then, when she arrived at his school for the first day... They brought out the stroller, and they were going to require him to be in the stroller, and then restraint, have a restraint on him, that gate belt, it's a restraint. Cabral says she explained this could cause physical harm. It was talking to a brick wall. Everything that we said fell on deaf ears. So she enlisted the help of Karen Mayer Cunningham, a nationally recognized special education advocate, who filed a complaint with the Department of Education Office for Civil Rights, stating Nicholas's legal rights are not being met for multiple reasons, including using a harness to improperly restrain him, offering a plastic toilet on the floor for his bathroom needs, and failing to maintain accessible entrances, classrooms, and a playground. The Americans with Disabilities Act has been in place for 33 years. And the building's not accessible, the room's not accessible, uh, the motor lab's not accessible, none of the playgrounds in the entire district are accessible, and they don't seem to have a problem with that. In a statement to CBS 11, the district says Allen ISD strongly believes that the claims in this complaint are without merit, and all procedures were followed in accordance with the law. They intend to fully cooperate with the investigation. And I'm not going away, he's not going away. Every student is entitled to that, so... We want this change not only for him, but we want it for every other student here that has needs. And tomorrow, Cunningham will be hosting a press conference at the Allen ISD Administration Building at 2 p.m. We're told other parents who have children with disabilities, as well as just community members, will be in attendance. In Allen, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Aaron.